One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. Mantle hidden, school of ice age. What happened? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of need.
The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely... punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! In the Dark Brotherhood, it's been quite a It's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. Need something? I can't right, wait then. to hear all about Talk the next Talk to about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Cat <sighs> Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. She has a contract for you. Come see me afterward. Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool, greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. There's a contract for you. Come see me afterward. Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the... Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Ah, another member of the family! Hello, hello! So very good to meet you! So polite, so nice! Cicero likes you! The Night Mother is sure to like you, too! Oh, we're going to be fast friends! Fast friends! The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated! So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home, here! This is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see? Such was my... Honor as keeper. Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Oh, what? Who is? Oh, 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 you jest. <laughs> you, of course, and killed them. He is the Void. Me? The words. <laughs> oh, yes, mistress. Kill well, and often. I do wish to get 
to know you better, but I must tend to mother. Maybe we can talk for just a moment. Come on. You never should have come here. There you are. I do wish to get to know you better, but I must tend to mother. Maybe we can talk for just a moment. Come on in. My wife Kira runs our jewelry stall in the market. Of strong drink and clean rooms. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. What? Elaine is. Is dead. I, I, I'm grateful. I. It's just this. This isn't at all how I imagined things would play out. There was Elaine, but I was considering more. And, uh, well, that is dead, right? My thanks to you, assassin. Here's the gold I was going to pay for the job. You earned it, after all. Thank you again for resolving my problem. Need something? What do you need? What do you need? Thank you again for resolving my problem. you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... <laughs> well... Erratic would be an understatement. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. That's the real... Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble sir. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. No, oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. You, you who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener! Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? Treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I speak.
spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Okay, let's all take a deep breath. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> oh, well, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, but that was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Me? <gasps> but I'm not the listener. Oh, no! <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. Oh, you are the listener, you are the listener. I have served mother. Well, I have. <laughs> Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Of course. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be your payment for a job well done. Congratul- Here's your payment. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Thank you. 
best to get to it. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. Or that wonder what it's like for those Thorn now that you've taken down a notch. My mother and father died years ago. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. What's the matter, friend? Kajit got your tongue? Maybe you need a little ditty to loosen your gob, huh? There once was a stranger with eyes full of danger. He spoke not a word, but his meaning was heard. Sing on, sweet Lorbuck. Sing on. ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dried, drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Can I help you? Well, now. You need to leave. What have we here? A last little lamb. You need to leave. See ya. Well, now. What have we here? A last little lamb. Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. Other people just make things complex. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. Doing some building, eh? I'll have them hold over right away. You need to leave. You need to leave.
Well, now. Time to end this little game. <laughs> Time to end this little game. All right, you've had enough. Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. A guest? Oh my. Why don't you stay a while? Put that down. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that's... If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrood. Jur? Zafrun! Will there need something? No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and... Your payment, as per the usual. Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Still here... You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Go on now. Jure? Zafu! Need something? The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. Uh, the listener wants my counsel. I thought you were above the opinions of mere mortals, now that you commune with dead old women. Take care of yourself, Beefrost.
Jur, Zabu. Jur, Zabru!
by the almighty divines. You've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Oh, I know. I know. But I'm so glad you're here. Please, allow me to state my business. Surely your time is as valuable as... I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... the Emperor. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brother. You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... Rexus? The items. Rexus will now give you two items yeah. which must be... The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any... And... Expenses. Is there something else you need? You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place! <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the massive... The fear... You. 
you must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out I of have this vowed to place. serve Amand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Is there something else you need? You're back. Good. You're joking. What's this? By Sithis? You're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted.